Okay, now that you've thoroughly screwed it up, what you could do is start flattening out that design at a lower intensity. So maybe five, and you can start, you know, just kind of cleaning this up a little bit. You can also hold shift and it will smooth out some of the regions. Like that right there, I can smooth that out. So one nice about smooth is it will take the outside edges and eliminate some of the jagginess that appears on the outside edge and turn it into a more organic feel. Okay, now what I'll do is start addressing things. Like, I'll take the pinch brush and subtract a little bit. That's always fun. You go in here and you take the stroke, turn it to lazy mouse. And then you could just kind of play around with the idea of sketching. Okay. Okay, when I do that with the the intensity at negative 37, you can see that it makes some really, you know, just just lines. So I can kind of start sketching this out. And what this is, is compressing your polys together. And I'm being just really loose with the design. And I go around certain form changes with this because now when I take the standard brush again, you'll find that it does bump it up in the area a little bit better just in that one area because you've compressed the polys together in that area. So you're going to get nice form changes because of that. I think the hardest thing for students is just to bear with a project. Uh, too often I see uh, they, they compare them, uh, compare uh, the pros to the Joes, okay, as I like to call it. Pros to the Joes, which means, you know, you look at, you look at somebody that's been in the field for like 15 odd years and probably made a whole bunch of characters and then you think, wow, I can't do that, so therefore I will give up. And then, you know, they forget to, you know, stand back and ask themselves, well, how much training have I had? And the whole reason maybe I'm not doing that is because I don't have enough practice. So with this stuff, I would say that there is no right or wrong answer, uh, but to give up on yourself and go on to try to learn another 3D application without learning the first one is kind of detrimental to uh, the actual learning process of a design. Okay, I'm going to separate this video out, so I'm going to meet you in the next video where I start sculpting in some more of this.